access granted. Hello there, YouTube. Today we are going to have a look at the KK KK things thing thing zong zong's UI. I can't pronounce the name, but you can see it by the title and all that. It's a minimalistic, I would say, UI, and everything we see in here is the UI. There's no additional add-ons installed at all. So we created the welcome screen. You can take a tutorial, but let's just install it. And I I will basically just go through them all. There you go, and then you get like a little uh, help screen. There it is. I can't fucking think. Up here there will. There are data bars that there will be like XP, artifact power, and if you are um, working on or uh, reputation, that will be up there also. Mini bar, a little, uh, as you can see here, a little uh, information. <laughs> I can't fucking think today. So right click, you get the uh, rate and all that. Um, this is the. Um, icon for the UI interface. You can right click it and you can move all things around. Yoink. And you can middle mouse click it and you get the um, the config. So you can reset it to default, total UI resets, and there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. Uh, I won't go like into every, every little fucking detail. I'll just like quickly uh, go over them, most of them anyway. Of course, you can set it to uh, per character, so it's it's not like on all your characters at once. And if you make a new one, you will keep the settings. You have to customize them for every character if you want that. But we have general here, UI scale. You can uh, flat texture bars, and but let's do that for the sake of it. Um, auto UI scale, chatbot builds. This is one that I don't really like the action bars. Yeah, I recommend that you download. Um, bartender and use that one and then basically disable this one because it's not that good um, you can see here uh, height and stance right bar and mouse over that's the one over here yeah horizontal stance you have your macros hotkeys enable action bars that's the one I would recommend you guys disable and um, get a bartender here we have announcement uh, check spellcast, check for bad gear and instance. Hmm. Announce and party rate when you interrupt. I hate this one. No one should ever use an add on that do that because I will fucking personally come and kick their ass. Uh, instantly say, sap uh, to alert those around you. Rogues, mm, say thanks for some spells. So you get the gist of this. You have for auras. Automation, so here you can accept quest automatically, uh, you can automatically collapse the quest tracker, this one when you're instance. Accept friend guild invite, auto decline all duels, that's actually a really good one. <laughs> also enable combat log, auto resurrect and battle crowns, take screenshot when people get an achievement, that's one kind of good one. Auto change tab keys to only target enemy players, and then you have bags. It actually have a back uh, add-on installed also, so you can see here what you can do when we have uh, some Blizzard customization, the chat. I think it's still down here. Yep, it's still down there. Enable chats, enable chat backgrounds, cooldowns, data bars, that's the one over here, experience bar, uh, fade artifact bar, enable artifact bar. I don't have an artifact weapon on this one yet, not that I think anyway. So it will it's not up there yet. Uh, we have data texts, arrows, timers, loot, auto confirm disenchants, out enable auto create and this just will keep right like levels, icon size, blah blah blah, minimap. Let's the sucker up here. Enable minimap, make it square, collect some minimap spot in the on the outline. Oh, you see here that just pop up some stuff. Uh, and this is the size, we have miscellaneous, spin, camera value, AFK, colorize, add armor link in, unit pop-up menus. <laughs> and when visit a repair merchant, merchant, automatic repair, that's a good one. When visit an event, automatically sell great items. So you have in built-in uh, repair and sell system, that's awesome. Uh, 
uh, remote boss emote, improve color picker, disable message when you enter leave combat. So yeah, there's a lot of customization here. Nameplates, they are okay, I guess. <laughs> Uh, pulse cooldown, rate cooldowns, rate frames, add-on skins, so if you had like big rig you can uh, use this skin basically forward and all that tooltips. <laughs> tooltips about cursor, display the hyperlink, tooltips about item counts, spell ID, what have you not, unit frames, boop boop. Let's see, enable class portraits. I'm just picking some up here. Show portrait timers. You see, there's a lot of customization and world map. So you basically just go in and go nuts, and then, of course, you can apply. It will reload. Let's just type this one. So let's look at the back. So we get this back here, and this is like I said, um, it's coming with the add on. So this is not like a separate back add on. So you can search, you can clean up. That this is really neat. So yeah, I will um, put in the last couple of minutes. I will put in a um, dungeon I did on my main, where you can see how it kind of looks in, in it. And I customize a little bit. I move the object track over here and uh, and all that, and and move the uh, party frames a little bit. But anyway, you can see what you know how it looks like in a in a group environment so thanks for stopping by and i hope this one helped you out a little bit and i will see you all later and i will now go eat some ice cream out of a midget bye bye Must, however.